one more time. Come on now. I said, let's hold to his hand, to God's unchanging hand. Oh, to his hand, to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal and hold to God's unchanging
Oh, yes, you are, Lord. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Yes, you are, Lord. So, Lord, I say one more time, oh, holy, oh, holy, holy are you, Lord. You are, you are so holy. Ah, you, We praise you. We praise you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Oh, yes, we do. Let everything that has breath come on, praise. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath come on, praise. Praise the Lord. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him at noontime. Praise Him in the evening. And nighttime too. In all your ways, acknowledge him in everything you do. Acknowledge him for the Lord. He's so good. His love is everlasting for the Lord. He is so good and his love is everlasting. So praise, praise the Lord. Come on, praise, praise the Lord. Enter into his gates thanksgiving and into his courts with praises for the Lord he is so good and his love is everlasting oh the Lord he Lord, we 
Thank you, Jesus. We thank, thank you, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Dr. Jackson, for leading us in worship and taking us higher in him. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is so good. Well, let's give God a hand of praise. And we want to thank Josephine also, amen. amen. <laughs> Good to see her, amen. We're having a time in the Lord, in God's household. Amen. Well, welcome to Emmanuel Temple CME Church, where we do say God is good all the time, and all the time God is so good, and where the sun never stops shining. And by now, you know I am not talking about the S-U-N but the S-O-N. Let's give Jesus a hand of praise this morning. What a mighty God we serve. Well, beloved, we're coming to the end of chapter 2. And I would you turn in your Bibles to Micah chapter 2 and look at verse number 13. Amen. Micah chapter 2 and verse number 13. The Bible says... The breaker. Somebody say, somebody say breaker. <laughs> the breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. Does your Bible say that? Yes, sir. Well, beloved, given unto God, who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary for all of our sins. The Bible says he hung, he bled, he died. But on the third day, he got up from the grave. Yes, we want to use as a subject title on this morning, The Breaker. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody said the breaker. The breaker. The breaker. That's who we're going to talk about this morning. The last two verses of chapter two are powerful verses. Yes. It's amazing that for 11 verses in chapter two, we have heard the strongest judgment. We have heard the strongest denunciation coming from God. But then suddenly in these last two verses, Micah switches, come on now, and starts talking about a remnant. And he starts talking about the regathering. Can y'all say regathering? He starts talking about the, the regathering of Israel and the blessings of God. Yes, he makes a 180 degree turn. Yes, yes. 11 verses of, of judgment and you get the first 12 and say, come on, come on. And then he turns around. <laughs> yes, this is not unusual for the prophets to switch in this manner because judgment is God's strange work. Yes, sir. He doesn't like to judge. <laughs> and the sudden switching to blessings, hallelujah, is not unusual from the prophets of the Old Testament. When it switches like this, the prophets are 
trying to give us a message. And that message is God delights in showing mercy. Somebody say, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Micah, along with the other prophets of the Old Testament, predicted the restoration of Israel. After Israel would be scattered into exile, all the prophets prophesied that after the scattering would be the regathering. Can I go there this morning? The regathering of Israel is a constant theme of the Old Testament prophets. And I don't want y'all to miss that. You need to put that in your spirit. God made some promises to Abraham that God plans on fulfilling. How many know that when God makes a promise, he'll keep his word? Aren't y'all glad about that? Don't you wish everybody else was like that too? <laughs> Come on, y'all. It'll be nice with it, Dr. Jack. No matter how cloudy it may seem for a child of God, after a while, the sun will break through. Can I go there this morning? The mercy of God will come through to fulfill the promises that, that, that God had, has made made to Abraham, help me Holy Ghost, the promises that, that God had made to Isaac, had made to Jacob, that no matter how bad things would become, God would always remember the promises that he had made. Yes, sir. If you look with me, beloved, in your Bible to Micah chapter 2 and verse number 12, the Bible says, I will surely assemble. Somebody say, surely. surely. Yeah, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely, somebody say, surely. surely. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. Now, after all that bad stuff, God's still going to keep his word. Mm -hmm. Can I go there? Yeah. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra as the flock in the midst of their fold. Yes, and they shall make great noise, great noise. <laughs> by reason of the multitude of men. Yes, Do you see that this morning? Mm -hmm. Or oh, we got to dig in that word this morning. Basra was noted and known for its rich pastors in Moab. Can I back that up this morning? Beloved, if you were to go to your Bible, Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 3 and look at verse number 4, the Bible says, And Mesha, king of Moab, was a sheep master, <laughs> and rendered unto the king of Israel an hundred thousand lambs. How many of y'all know that's a whole lot of lambs? <laughs> uh, come on, Josephine. <laughs> and a hundred thousand rams with the wool. Oh, they had rich pastures. How many know he maketh us to lie down in green pastures? Am I right about it? Micah says, in the time of the regathering, they will make a loud noise, which means there will be a, a large crowd of men in that day, which means that God was going to multiply them. God was going to increase them. God was going to bless them. God was going to give them favor in the future. How many know that God can give you favor in your life? Oh, he made a promise. He said, said you're going to be like the stars of the heaven and like the sands of the seashore. Can I go there this morning? Or oh, if you turn with me in your Bibles to Genesis chapter 13 and verse number 16, you, you see he, he made a promise to Abraham. He says, and I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. Yeah, you know, that, 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 that's saying a big thing. If a person hasn't had a child yet, amen. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> so that if a man 
can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. This morning, how many know that God has multiplying power? Oh, that sounds good this morning. Each of the three sermons that Micah prophesizes in includes a promise of the regathering of Israel. Even the section, uh, each of the sections speaks of the blessings of God, the blessings of Israel. And I'm trying to give you a word this morning that after the punishment, that after the captivity and, and after the exile, God saying, is saying, I'm not through with you. Can I go there this morning? After I take you through the fire and, and purify you, I'm going to do a work with you and on the inside of you. And I'm going to multiply you. Can I go there this morning? Oh, they have a bright future. Micah says in Micah chapter 4 and verse number 2, the, the Bible says, And many nations shall come up and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord yes, and to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Somebody shout from Jerusalem. Oh, somebody shout regather. Amen. Oh, oh, despite, hear me, saints of God, despite the darkness of the night, no matter how rough the storm, no matter how challenging the day, no matter how difficult the moment, no matter how horrible things may be, God has a bright future for the child of God. Oh, saint of God, you ought to get happy this morning that despite what you're going through, it's all going to be all right in the end. Oh, am I right about it this morning? I'm here to tell you that the believer has a beautiful future. That's why I tell everybody, you, you ought to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. The best thing you can do in this life is to have Jesus Christ in your life. And I know I'm right about it. I don't need no backup for that one. Amen. No. <laughs> Give you my own experience. And beloved, Michael is telling them that the days up ahead are going to be beautiful. Can I back it up this morning? Oh, Micah chapter 7 and verses 18 through 20. The, the Bible says, who is a God like you? <laughs> who pardons sin and forgives the transgressions of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not stay angry forever. Somebody ought to get happy right there. <laughs> but delight, watch it now, but delight to show mercy. You will again have compassion on us. You will tread our sins underfoot and hurl our iniquities into the depths of the sea. Can I go there this morning? You will be true to Jacob and show mercy to Abraham as you pledged on oath to our fathers in days long ago. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, God keeps his promises. Am I right about it? Oh, we see two great truths here. Number one, the Lord will regather Israel and he will be a shepherd to them. He will renew them as his, his own sheep. Can I go there this morning? And then number two, we see in this passage that the Lord will lead Israel as their king. Is that all right? Oh, the Bible says, and their king shall pass before them. The Lord will go up ahead of them. 
Oh, we got to dig in this word. It's only, there's, there's, there are only two verses that we're looking at, but they're so rich in nuggets. Amen. Oh, <laughs> so rich in truth. And they can feed our souls on this morning. Oh, when God restores the believing remnant of Israel, he will be like a shepherd leading his flock. Oh, what a beautiful sight that will be. Yes, can I back it up this morning? Micah chapter 5 and verse number 4. The Bible says, And he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. Oh, we have some great days up ahead. Can I go there? Jesus is our shepherd. I want somebody to say, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, is your Lord your shepherd this morning? Can I go there this morning? Isaiah chapter, excuse me, Micah chapter 7 and verse number 14. The Bible says, feed thy people with thy rod. The flock of thy heritage which dwells solitarily in the wood, in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. Oh, so great will be the regathering of the sheep that they will sound like a throng of people. And they'll be making lots of noises because God will have multiplied them. And God will have increase them how many know that god has the power to increase that which you have uh can i go there this morning the old testament prophets frequently spoke about god as a shepherd hallelujah and we as his sheep can i back it up this morning psalms 77 and verse number 20 the Bible says, Thou leadest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Does your Bible say that this morning? Oh, he's our shepherd and he is a good shepherd. Am I right about it? If you go to Psalms 78 and verse number 52, the Bible says, But made his people to go forth even sheep, amen, even like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. Oh, how many of you have the Lord as your guide this morning? Uh, he's a good guy. Can I go a little further this morning? Oh, in Psalms 80 and verse number one, the Bible says, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock. Thou that dwelleth between the cherubims, shine forth. Can I go there this morning? Uh, he is our shepherd. Can I back it up this morning? Psalms 100 and verse 3. The Bible says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Ah, I'm looking at this right here. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Can I get a witness this morning? Oh, Brother Dr. Jackson, uh, Brother Hudson and Sister Hudson, Sister Ann and Sister Stella, and Brother Russell and Sister Josephine. Oh, Sister Stinson and Dr. Dove. I'm so glad that I can say he is our shepherd. But I need to bag that up this morning. Psalms 23 and verse number 1. David pulled his pen out and he wrote, The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Yeah. How many of you know that he is the good shepherd? Uh, can I go a little further? How many of you know that he is the great shepherd? Ah, uh, Can I go a little further? How many of you know that he is the chief shepherd? Can I go a little further? 
How many know that he's the bishop of our soul? If you believe all those things, let's give him a hand clap this morning. Um, are you glad that you are one of his? Are you glad that you belong to him? Michael says, in the future, everything is going to be all right. The people will be like sheep brought together in a pen for safety's sake. After being scattered and used and misabused by all the nations of the land, God says, I'm going to regather you and put you in my own pen where nobody can harm you, where nobody can do no wrong to you. Oh, can I go a little further? Uh, the people will praise him. And Micah says they, they will sound like a resonating sound of the earth echoing because they'll have a great shout and make so much noise. Oh, we ought to make some noise sometime. We ought to praise him sometime. We ought to thank him sometime. We ought to magnify him sometime. We ought to glorify him sometime. We ought to take those hands and put them together sometime and take those feet and stomp them on the ground sometime and make the earth resonate. We ought to make the earth ring. Can I back it up this morning? First Samuel chapter 4 and verse number 5. The Bible says, And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted. Somebody says shout. Amen. All Israel shouted with a great shout so that the earth rang again. Well, we ought to make the earth ring sometime. Can I go there this morning? After the nation has been sifted by judgment, after the nation has been refined by judgment, come on, Holy Ghost, God will assemble them again. Can I go there this morning? God will miraculously after, it's been, after they have been thinned out in captivity God's going to miraculously multiply them again how many know that God is a miracle worker uh, Jesus will redeem them as their king can I go there Jesus will lead them as their king can I go there God is going to show mercy to them, not because of their goodness. Come on, somebody. Not because of their worthiness. Can I go there? Not because of their fine character. Can I go there? He's going to do it because of his grace. How many of you can thank God for the grace of God and the goodness of God and the mercy of God? and the kindness of God. How many can testify that we really don't deserve it, but it's because of Jesus on Calvary. What he did there for us on Calvary. Can I go there one more time? God has always had a faithful remnant. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel, he says. Can I go there? It was always because of a remnant that God was gracious to the nation. Can I go there? To your prayer warriors. We got to thank them. Because it's their prayers that, that they're praying that this nation is experiencing the goodness that it's experiencing. How many know that God always has a faithful remnant? Am I right about it? Though the nation of Israel rebelled against God, God said, I'm still going to be gracious to you because of the faithful remnant. Somebody else said, thank God for the faithful remnant. Oh, Dr. Jackson, can you say thank God for the faithful remnant? Oh, Brother Hudson, can you say thank God for the faithful remnant? Can I go there this morning? Oh, Sister Hudson, can you say thank God for the faithful remnant? Uh, Brother Russell, can you say thank God for the faithful remnant? Oh, Sister Ann, can you say thank God for the faithful remnant? Can I go there this morning? Sister Estella, can you say thank God for the faithful remnant? Oh, Brother Russell, hallelujah. Oh, Sister Josephine, and 
Oh, Sister Stenson and Sister Dub, Dr. Dub, amen. Let's give God a hand of praise this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, through the nation of Israel, through the remnant, the faithful one, God says, I'm going to regather you oh, because of their faithfulness. Can I go there this morning? God would work because of the faithfulness of the few. Oh, thank God for the faithful few. Can I go there this morning? This is also true of in the church. The church always has a faithful few. Faithful few prayer warriors. Can I go there this morning? They're the ones who are causing the church to keep on going and keep on being blessed. Somebody said, thank God for the faithful few. Yeah, because of their faithfulness, God can bless this nation. How many of you know that you're blessed this morning? Oh, can I go a little bit further? Don't tell me that prayers don't work. Uh, don't tell me prayers don't matter. The hope of this nation is depending on the remnant. Can I go there this morning? The hope of the church this morning is relying on the remnant. Can I go there this morning? The hope of our family, the hope of our society is depending on the remnant, the faithful prayer warriors. Come on, let's give them a hand clap this morning. Thank God for the prayer workers. Thank God for the prayer warrior. Somebody shout, breaker. <laughs> Come on, somebody shout, breaker. Break Come on, somebody shout, breaker. Break Can I break it down this morning? Can I break down about the breaker this morning? Can I go there this morning? Well, if you go to Micah chapter 2 and verse number 13. The Bible says the breaker, somebody shout breaker, breaker, is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. Does your Bible say that? The breaker is the one that clears the way for the sheep. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost. The breaker is the one who moves the obstacles out the way so the sheep can go through. Can I go there this morning? The breaker is the one that will go before the sheep to make the way for the sheep. Can I go there this morning? The breaker is the Messiah of Israel. Can I go there this morning? The breaker is Jesus Christ himself. Can I go there this morning? The breaker is Jesus, the one who breaks down every obstacle. Can I go there this morning? The one who makes the way for you. The one who clears the path for you. The one who opens doors for you. Somebody else shout breaker this morning. Oh, thank God for the breaker this morning. Can I get some saints to shout breaker? Oh, breaker. Let me go a little bit further. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. He went before them when they were in Egypt. Can I back it up this morning? Exodus chapter 13 and verse 21. The Bible says, And the Lord went before them by the day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire. Can I go there this morning? To give them light. Can I go there this morning? To go by day and night. Is that all right? The same Lord that led them will lead us. He's our breaker too. How many know that He gave us the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to never leave us? Somebody said, Thank God for the breaker. Somebody shout, Breaker. Can I go a little further this morning? Or if you go to Isaiah chapter 52 and verse number 12, the Bible says, But you will not leave in haste or go in flight 
for the Lord will go before you. Somebody say, before you. Uh, the God of Israel will be your rear guard. Somebody shout, rear guard. Can I go there this morning? When the Messiah clears the way, oh, they will break forth from the enemies. Can I go there? Oh, when the Messiah clears the way, they will break forth from captivity. Can I go there this morning? Oh, when the Messiah clears the way, they will break forth from bondage. Can I go there this morning? Oh, when the Messiah clears the way, they will break forth from exile. Can I go there this morning? When the Messiah clears the way, they will break forth from enslavement. Oh, watch it now. No one will be able to stop their restoration. Can I go there? They will come through the gates of Jerusalem. The breaker will fulfill the promises of God on their behalf. Somebody say breaker. breaker. Oh, can I talk to you about Jesus this morning? You out there in the audience, whether you're in the kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, the back room, or on the outside. Jesus is our breaker. Can I go there this morning? Jesus is our king of kings and lord of lords. Jesus is our savior. And the devil don't want you to know that this morning. Everything you need is in Jesus Christ. Oh, am I right about it this morning? He is the breaker of our lives. He is the king of our lives. He is the Lord of our lives. But then I got to turn that around and ask the question, is Jesus the breaker of your life? Is Jesus the king of your life? Is Jesus the Lord of your life? If he is this morning, then give God a hand of praise this morning. Oh, I think you can do better than that. Give God a big hand of praise. Then give him a shout this morning. Somebody give me a thank you, Jesus, this morning. Is he all right this morning? Is he worthy of praise this morning? Oh, Jesus is the breaker. Oh, breaker is the only one who can give you a breakthrough. I got to say that again. The breaker is the only one who can give you a breakthrough. Oh, if you're looking for a breakthrough this morning, then you need the breaker. Oh, who is the breaker? Well, he's the one who can move the obstacles. Am I right about it? He's the one who can open doors that nobody else can open. Am I right about it? He's the one who can do miracles in our lives. Somebody out there need a miracle. Oh, that miracle is the one who can give you a breakthrough. Can I go there this morning? Oh, the breaker can heal you this morning. If you're sick in your body and can't get well, somebody shout, you need the breaker. Oh, if you need deliverance this morning, maybe you own drugs, maybe you own alcohol, maybe you own smoking weed, smoking marijuana, maybe you own a bad habit, or maybe you own pornography, maybe you own backsliding. I don't know what it is, but I do know one whose name is Breaker. He can give you a breakthrough. Can I go there this morning? He can save you if you're lost. If you're out there walking on the streets and you know you're lost, the breaker can make a breakthrough for you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what your situation may be, no matter what your circumstances may be, no matter how dark it may be, he can break through and bring light to come in. If you believe that this morning, give my hand a praise. Oh, if you feel dirty this morning, feel like you need a washing this morning. He can wash away your sins. He can deliver you again. He can restore your joy again. Oh yeah, maybe you lost your joy and you want your joy restored. The breaker can bring your joy back to you again. Somebody give God a hand of praise this morning. Is he worthy this morning? 
Is he worthy this morning? Uh, all Israel's blessings are bound up in the breakup. All Israel's blessings are bound up in Jesus Christ. I say all the time, it's good to know Jesus. Can I go there this morning? The blessings for Israel will come to pass Dr. Dove in the millennium. Uh, Israel will be brought to know the one that they pierce is their savior. Can I go there this morning? As a shepherd, he will break through and he will lead them through. Hallelujah. Can I go there this morning? As a shepherd, he will clear the way for his sheep. Can I go there this morning? As a shepherd, he will open doors for his sheep. Christ is going to go before them and clear the way for them. Can I go there this morning? God will remove every obstacle so that he might bless them. How many know that sometimes things can get, away, get in the way of our blessings? Oh, but God can step in and remove those things out the way. Can I go there this morning? He will remove every obstacle that they might be blessed. Like a good king, Jesus loves his people. I got to ask this question this morning. How many of you know the Lord loves you this morning? Oh, God loves you and God loves you real good. Can I detour just for a minute? He woke you up this morning, didn't he? Oh, he started you on your way. Did he put food on your table? Clothes on your back? Shout over your head? Did he keep you in your right mind? How many of you are blessed and you know you're blessed this morning? Oh, I got to bring some of these prophets of old and let them talk about the good days that are up ahead. Can I go there this morning? Zephaniah chapter 3 verse number 15. Oh, help me Holy Ghost. The Lord has taken away thy judgment. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. He has cast out thy enemy. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Is that all right? Thou shalt not see evil anymore. Can you imagine a day that's coming when you're not going to see any more evil? Yeah. Somebody ought to get happy right there. Oh, when the wicked shall cease from troubling uh, and the weary shall be at rest. Oh, I thank saints of God. We all wait for that day to come. Can I go a little further? Zechariah chapter 14 and verse number 9. The Bible says the Lord will be king. Somebody shout king. Over the whole earth. Can I go there? On that day. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. On that day, there will be one Lord. Uh, and his name, the only name. Uh, somebody say only name. Oh, there's only one and only name. Can I talk about that name this morning? Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. There's only one name. Can I back it up this morning? Acts chapter 4 and verse number 12. The Bible says, neither is there salvation in any other. Am I right about Josephine? <laughs> Uh, for there is none other name under heaven right. <laughs> given among men <laughs> whereby we must be saved. Oh, Dr. Dove, there's only one name, one name. and there's power in that name. Wow. Saints of God, when I don't feel good, I know what name to call on. <laughs> Can I go there this morning when I hear about difficult situations? <laughs> When I see difficult problems, I'm so glad I got a name that I can call on. I'm here to tell you this morning that the name James won't do me no good when I'm in a whole lot of problems. Can I go there? Not even Edward will help me out. Can I go there this morning 
when the problems are real bad and real heavy, even the name Markham won't help me. But there is a name that helps me that's above every name. Can I back it up this morning? It's Philippians chapter 2 and verse number 9. I dare you tell me go there this morning. Ah, uh, wherefore God also has highly exalted him. Am I right about it, Dr. Dove? And given him a name which is above every name. Ah, uh, that at the name of Jesus. Oh, sister Stenton, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Oh, sister Anne and sister Estella. There's something about the name of Jesus. I dare you to say, Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. There's something about that name. If you don't feel good, you start feeling good. If you're tired and don't have any pick me up, I dare you to say, Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. If you agree with me this morning, I dare you to shout this morning. I dare you to clap your hands this morning. I dare you to pat your feet this morning. I dare you to worship this morning. I dare you to shake those shoulders this morning. Somebody shout, Jesus! Hallelujah. Oh, let me go a little further. The fire done got started up here. Let me fan that fire. Can I go there this morning? Somebody shout, Breaker! 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 Give me a breakthrough. Well, let me kind of get a little closer here. The nation that was in captivity, that nation that was weak, the breaker is going to come in and make it strong. How many know that God can turn things around? How many know that God can take weak things and make it strong? Oh, Brother Hudson and Sister Hudson, God got the power to turn things around. They're going to be in captivity. But when captivity is over with, when their time is up, God's going to take a weak nation and make it strong. Can I back it up this morning? Oh, can I back it up this morning? Micah chapter 4 and verse number 7 the Bible says and I will make her that halted a remnant and her that was cast far off a strong nation. Somebody shout strong nation. Uh, one more time a strong nation. Uh, get to me one more time a strong nation. Uh, brother and sister Hussey, they're going to take a weak nation and going to make it strong. Can I go there this morning? He got that kind of power. And the Lord shall reign. Somebody say reign. Oh, let him reign. Oh, Jackson was singing about him reigning. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion. Somebody say over in Zion. Oh, and you ought to shout over in Zion. Estella, you ought to shout over in Zion. He's going to reign over in Zion. Oh, I don't care what you're going through this morning. Your back may ache. Your feet may ache. Your head may ache. But think about it, just a moment. He's going to reign over in Zion. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I need a worship in church this morning. Oh, hallelujah. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth. Somebody might ask, how long is it going to rain? Oh, I got to put my foot right here forever and ever and ever and ever. If you believe that, say over in Zion. He's going to reign forever and ever. Am I right about it? That ought to make you happy this morning. Somebody shout the breaker this morning. Yeah, the breaker can change thing around. He can take a weak nation and make it strong. He can take sinners and make them saved. How many know the Lord can change your life all around? 
You could come in here one way. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. You could come in one way and leave another way. Can I go there this morning? You can come in here sick and leave out healed. Can I go there this morning? You can come in here heavy and leave out of here praising. Can I go there this morning? Well, he has the power to change things around. Well, they're looking at a beautiful future. Can I back it up? Revelation chapter 20, verse number 4. Yeah, that makes you get happy right there. Can I go there? And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. Words past tense. And for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Can I go there? And they live. Somebody shall live and reign. Somebody shall reign with Christ. A thousand years. Is that all right? Oh, that sounds good to me, saints of God. A thousand years. That means a millennium. Oh, when Israel was in exile, they were in prison, walled up, gated up. They needed a breaker to break down the walls, to break down the gates. The walls and the gates had to be broken down. Can I go there this morning? It's Christ that breaks down the walls. It's Christ that breaks down the gates. It's Christ that sets you free. Oh, in that audience, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the living room, in the back room, in the playroom, whatever room you're in, you may need the walls broken down this morning. I got the one who can break down the walls of oppression and depression. Can I break it down this morning? Somebody wave their hand this morning. Somebody say, break up, break down those walls. Oh, can I go there this morning? Oh, God is blessing you this morning. Can I back it up? Psalm 61 and verse 1. Somebody's getting healed this morning. Can I break it down? Psalm, Isaiah 61, 1. You got the right one. I'm talking different. Crystal, she, she got the right one. She don't have to get happy up here. I'm calling scriptures out, not even down on my paper. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Isaiah 61 1 says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Uh, can I go there, Brother Hudson? He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Can I go there? To proclaim liberty to the captives. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Ah, uh, if you're bound this morning, be free in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, be free in the name of Jesus. Uh, can I go there? Oh, yes, Israel is going to be led by the breaker. And the breaker is going to break down the walls around them. And then they're going to march through the gates can i go there and they're gonna come out of the prison can i go there i want you to repeat after me uh, they broke through uh, they marched through they came out oh yeah yes they, they they broke through then they marched through and then they came out am i right about it that sounds like victory to me. How many know that we have victory in Jesus? How many you have the victory this morning? How many you can praise him this morning? How many you can thank him this morning? How many you can magnify him this morning? How many you can glorify him this morning? How many you can exalt him this morning? How many you can lift him this morning? How many know he's worthy this morning? How many you can stand on your feet and praise him this morning? Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Rain on me, Lord. Stir in me, Lord. Move in me, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Come on, give God a hand of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 
Oh, he's the breaker, saints of God. Jesus is your breakthrough. Jesus will cause you to march through. Jesus will bring you out. He said, bring you out of what? Bring you out of spiritual Babylon. Oh, when you're caught up in bondage, hear the voice of the breaker calling you to, to come out from where you are. Come out from amongst them. Can you hear him this morning? The breaker is saying, let me tear down the walls around you. Can you hear him this morning? Say, let me tear down the gates around you. Can you hear him this morning? He said, let me march you through this morning. Can I go there this morning? He wants you to come out this morning. Can I go there this morning? He wants you to come out of depression. Can I go there this morning? Come out of heaviness. Let him tear down the gates and tear down the fences. Can I go there this morning? He said, come out of that drug addiction. Can I go there this morning? Come out of that alcoholism. Can I go there this morning? Come out of that pornography addiction. Can I go there this morning? Come out of that, that gambling addiction. Oh, and you need to hear me this morning. The breaker is talking to you this morning. Come out of that suicidal spirit this morning. God loves you this morning. Can I go there this morning? Come out of that low self-esteem. Can I go there? You somebody in Christ Jesus. Can I go there this morning? You a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. Can I go there this morning? You a heir this morning. You a joint heir this morning. Somebody shout, come out of there. Oh, I wanted you to use your voice. Somebody shout, come out of there. Oh, yes. He, he's asking you to come out of that pity party. Come out of feeling that nobody loves you. Come out of feeling that you're all alone. Oh, come out of feeling like there are barriers all around you. Oh, God is calling you this morning. God is your breaker. God wants to give you your breakthrough this morning. Your, break, your blessings are waiting on you. Because God loves you. Oh, thank God for the breaker. Somebody shout breaker. Somebody shout breaker. Well, after Reverend Dr. J. Dwight Jackson, bless us in song. I want to pray the breaker give you a breakthrough for your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. Hallelujah. Jackson, 
every head bowed, I want to pray a breakthrough for you. Oh Lord, we read in your word that you are the breaker, the one who will tear down the walls and tear down the gates and remove all obstacles and all things that are in the way that your sheep might come in and be blessed, Lord. The many are out there, Lord, who need you as the breaker for their breakthrough. Some in finances, Lord, give them that the finances they need. Some for health, healing in their body, they need a breakthrough, Lord. Healing of the cancers, the diabetes, the high blood pressure, Lord God, the, the heart problem, the surgery that they have to go through, procedure they have to go through, some battling with COVID, Lord. They ask for healing and a breakthrough in the name of Jesus, that they, they might run to the house of God and, and then give a witness that my back was healed, my, my cancer went away because the breaker healed me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I feel somebody's getting a breakthrough this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody's getting a breakthrough this morning. Break a breakthrough. I feel it. Somebody's getting a breakthrough this morning. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the breakthrough. We receive the breakthrough this morning. I need pray no other. I need to pray no further. It's been done. Thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. God bless you all. Receive your breakthrough till I see you again. God bless you all. I got mine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I got mine. Lord, you are a breaker. Tear down all the obstacles. You tear down those things that we thought were immovable. Lord, you are you are breaker. You are a breaker and we'll have a breakthrough with, with you.